Okay, uh, now that I've got the lower put together, uh, I need to start moving on. Uh, like I said, I've already got a buffer tube assembly uh, coming from Rock River Arms uh, and a couple other smaller parts coming. Uh, but I'm going to go skip ahead a little bit and instead of ordering my upper right now, I'm going to the barrel. And the barrel is to me one of the more important parts, so I wanted to get that out of the way because that really adds a lot to the styling of your gun. That really is going to help me decide what style I was going to go with. And that leads me to the questions I have. Uh, I can't decide what style do I want to do this. Do I want to do an A2? Do I want to do an A4? You know, what do I want to do? Uh, do I want to put the barrel on? Do a, you know, a short uh, foregrip here, a uh, handguard, and then do a gas block with a, with a uh, sight on it and make that like more of like an A4, an A2 type? Uh, do I want to do one that has the continuous handguard that goes almost up to the end of the barrel and do a flip top uh, sight on that? Uh, which I assume I can just buy a carbine in length uh, handguard and put on the uh, pistol size barrel and do that. But there's a different kind of configurations I want to do. Uh, like I say, A, I want to just do a standard A2 configuration, just do a tubular handguard and a hand and a uh, front sight with a gas block. Uh, or B, do I want to do a, con a, a uh, quad rail system with possibly maybe a a uh, single rail front gas block where I could put a flip up sight or something on it or do I want to do a continuous top across the top uh, with a longer hand guard on it so that would be like option C so I'd like some opinions on that like what kind of problems I'm going to run into with each kind of build because you know I don't know what the potential issues I may run into with on either of those styles uh, now I did order the barrel today I was originally going to order a Rainier Arms barrel and I checked with them, said they were in stock, blah, 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 called back to order it, and now they said they rechecked their stock and they're out. So I got to wait, and I might get one of those later, but right now I wanted a barrel to start with. So I looked around, and I found Red X Arms, a uh, stainless barrel. So I ordered one of those today. The thing was only $130, I figured, for that price. Uh, when the Rainier Arms barrels come in, I can always order one and uh, resell the... Uh, Red X at a loss. If the barrel's not good, if I get it and I like it, I don't see any reason to change it. Uh, so I don't know if anybody out there has any experience with the Red X barrels, but uh, it looks good. So we'll see how it turns out. I've only been able to find a few reviews of it online, and they were positive, but uh, we'll see what happens. But uh, like I said, I want to get a little uh, input on the style, the configuration that I'm going to be doing on the gun. So uh, any feedback would be appreciated.